yep. Who's the first person to arrive at the training ground here every morning? <laughs> it's a leading question. Uh, I'm probably sure the security guard um, is the first one in. I, I'm one of the first. And who's the last to leave? Again, probably the security guard, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I think me and my staff would be would be quite late because we're, we're only doing that because we want to do the best job we can. So um, there's no, no not, not for visual show, just for the work. It shouldn't surprise anyone that Eddie Howe has transformed the fortunes of Newcastle United. He took Bournemouth from the bottom of the Football League to the Premier League in just seven years. But the speed Newcastle have gone from relegation strugglers to challenging the top four has been remarkable. So what's the secret? Howe was a promising professional himself, representing England at under-21 level. Harry Redknapp signed him for Portsmouth in 2002. Pompey were highly ambitious and promoted to the Premier League in Howe's first full season. But the young defender had injured his knee on the opening day of the campaign. He never fully recovered and didn't play for Portsmouth again. I do think the injuries shaped part of my personality and part of my outlook and probably a beneficial thing for me in management. So I saw a loneliness and a remote side to football that wasn't positive really and it also had my career taken away from me. I wanted to play for my country, I, I wanted to treat, I wanted to win trophies. So th those were there. I probably knew deep down that maybe I wasn't good enough to achieve all those aims but it didn't stop me trying. So then the fact I never got to experience those things, yeah, has that fired me to work as hard as I do as a manager? Possibly has. How is a fascinating character. On the surface, he always seems calm. He doesn't give much away, in public at least. But what about the coach we don't see? In the dressing room, on the training ground, is he a motivator, a coach, a disciplinarian? Well, I think you have to be all of those things at the right time. Uh, probably more towards the coaching side. I, I love to coach. I love to be active. I love to get my ideas across to the players. So I have a passion for improving players. Can you be friends with players? Uh, yeah, you have to be careful that you don't get too close to players. I think there's always a line. I've been very aware of that when I stopped playing and went into coaching that certain aspects of your relationship have to change. In the modern game, do they still need to, to fear the manager a little bit? I think they need to respect the manager. I think they need to know that there's boundaries, as I say, that you can't cross. A slight element of fear I don't think is a bad thing. Um, I think the manager needs to show his passion and how much he cares for the job and results and what he's prepared to do to try and generate those uh, positive results. So I do think the, the role has changed from when I first started playing and my first experiences in football, which were were different to now. Um, so yeah, I do think it's evolved. You know, when I started playing and I was viewed slightly differently, I think. So then I come into management and uh, yeah, so I, I am level, that is my character. I'm level at home. I'm quite, a, I hope, a stable person. It doesn't mean you can't show emotion and get angry or sad or happy and or, you know, really happy. You know, you, you've got to have all those emotions in you. But when you bring it out, when you decide to show it, I think it's very important.